Hey guys, this is every single thing I don't like about Cade Mullane. So, we'll start with the break of BFB 1B. This particular scene, where they're in the, the jet flying to luxury land, just goes on way too long. I think it would have been better if it was like four minutes shorter. It just got boring after a while, watching it. Um, then there's this scene. This is right as they uh, pr arrive in luxury land. They're, like, underground or something. I noticed some writing on the wall that says, Trump, SOS, please. And my question is just, why are you bringing politics into your little BFDI fan animation for kids? Or, like, aimed at children? It's Because it's obviously aimed at children, right? Everything in the, in the OSC is. I just don't understand why why you felt that was necessary. And then there was, you know, this is a this has been a running thing throughout his videos just he constantly brings up or he constantly brought up covid. Like this is like there was that one um anyway, moving on from that in back to the jet scene, I just feel like Bubble doesn't act like Bubble. You know, Bubble I I don't I don't particularly know the characteristics of Bubble that well. Uh, I'm not the biggest Bubble fan, but I know that Bubble wouldn't act like the way she did in this particular scene. Anyway, moving on. Uh, to Teapot, sorry. I've made a whole video about this one. You can go watch that. But the unnecessary mentioning of COVID-19, um, the honestly borderline, borderline anti-mask rhetoric uh, too. Again, in a BFDI fan animation aimed at children. Uh, and then there was this scene. Need I say more? I should mention that just because it was put in a certain order, don't, don't think that's, like, the order of importance. That's just the order that I found it in, and obviously, like, I think bringing up politics unnecessarily into a BFDI animation is... Worse than just making two object show characters kiss. Um, but they're still, I don't know, I think they're still bad. BFB character of the month, Leafy. I've also made an entire video about this one that you can go watch if you want. Uh, there's this scene, and there's this scene. And that's about it, honestly. Then there's BFB character of the month, Fiery. Now, that sign says Luxury Land Christian High School. And my question is why, similar to the Trump SOS please one, why you're bringing that up in your BFDI fan animation aimed at children. I've got nothing wrong with Christians. You can follow whatever religion you want. I just don't see the purpose of mentioning it here. Anyway. She's water and she likes to mess with me. But not to worry, I got something in mind. Ah! She likes smacking my butt too. The balance beam challenge video. I've also made an entire video about this one. Uh, need I say more? Need I say more? Need I say more? Moving on. BFB character of the month, Profily. You are not one of the 14 contestants. I'm through with that. So get out of here right now. Oh, let me have my monthly video, Daddy. <laughs> BFB character of the month, Taco. That that is mayonnaise, but it doesn't. That doesn't stop it from being just kind of gross, in my opinion. Um, but hey, it's not all negativity from me. Here are some things that, despite my distaste for his content, are actually pretty cool. Um, in this particular scene, this was in BFB Character of the Month, Teardrop. Teardrop is uh, speaking in American Sign Language, I believe. I don't know if it's correct, but to my knowledge, it's probably correct. That was a nice touch, actually. There's, like, text-to-speech to go along with it, so you don't have to know American Sign Language to know what she's saying, but, like, that was cool. Um, and then the voice acting. I dogged on it in my first video, but honestly, I couldn't have done any better. And I admit that. And I admit that I was wrong to make fun of that. Um, and then second of all, or third of all, actually, is the animation. 
Like, I've seen many people in my comments, and I agree with them, saying that he could easily be an animator for J&J. &J. And, heck, if he hasn't already been an animator for J&J. &J. Uh, because it's that good. Genuinely, it's that good. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video so I could finally stop talking about Cade. Because I don't want my entire channel to be dedicated to talking about this one guy. Um, anyway, if you liked this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, or don't.